hey what's going on guys let's do this problem right here this question is asking a plain world with surface temperature of 350 degrees celsius is attached with straight rectangular fins the fins are exposed to an ambient temperature air condition of 25 degrees celsius and the convection heat transfer coefficient is 154 each pin has length of 50 millimeter a base of 5 millimeter thick and the width of 100 millimeter Determine the efficiency, heat transfer rate, and the effectiveness, right? So they are asking to use this 7.3 table, but in 7-3 table, the information provided are these, these things. For straight rectangular fields, we use this one to calculate efficiency, and M value calculated by this equation, and corrected length can be calculated by this equation. Now the first question is asking for efficiency. So we are going to use this equation. So here in order to do this, we had to know this M value and LC value. So it's not provided in the question, but we can find that one out using these equations. Now let's go ahead and find the M value first. To find the M value, this is going to be square root of 2H over KT. Now H is heat transfer coefficient that is provided right here. So this is going to be 2 times heat transfer coefficient is 154. So that's the one we are going to use. So this is going to be 2 times 154 divided by conductivity, that is K. That is 235. Right? 235 times thickness. So thickness, let's write this one clearly. So this is 235 times thickness thickness is 5 millimeter right so that's going to be 0 0.005 and if you apply this equation and find this one you should get 16.19035 meter minus 1 right now we have the m value now we have to find the corrected length in order to find this efficiency of pin now corrected length is going to be L plus thickness divided by 2 length of this pin is so thickness is 5 millimeter length is 50 millimeter so that's going to be the value we are going to plug right here so 50 millimeter if we convert that one into meter that's going to be 0 0.05 meter and the thickness is 5 millimeter so this is going to be 0 0.005 meter divided by 2 and if you calculate this one you should get 0 0.0525 now we have these two values now we can go ahead and find our efficiency of this pin so here to find the efficiency of pin we are going to use tan hyperbolic of mlc over mlc right so tan hyperbolic of m value that is 16.1905 so let's plug that one right here 16.19035 times lc corrected length that is 0 0.0525 divided by 16.1935 times 0 0.0525 Right. If you calculate this value, you should get 0 0.813 and in percentage, that is going to be 81.3 percentage. Now we have the efficiency. Now we have to calculate the heat transfer. To calculate the heat transfer, we use this equation that is Q dot is equal to eta fin. So Q dot fin is equal to eta fin times h infinity times a fin times tb minus t infinity right so this is efficiency this is the i mean heat transfer coefficient a fin area of the fin and then tb base temperature t infinity is ambient temperature now eta fin we found out already that is this value so we shouldn't use percentage we should use this decimal value 
so that's going to be the value we are going to plug but before we do that so we have this one and ambient temperature i mean key transfer coefficient we already have that so we have this one we have base temperature so here they are saying attached to stay, okay surface temperature is 350 degrees celsius and uh, mm, so this is our base temperature and ambient temperature is this one so we have these two right here so we have to find area of the fin to find the area of the fin we can use this equation area of the fin is equal to 2w lc so width times character length times 2 so 2 times width of this width is given by 100 millimeter so this is going to be 100 times 10 to the power of minus 3 that is equal to 0 0.1 and character length we calculated already that is 0 0.0525 right and if you calculate this value you should get 0 0.0105 meter square now we have all the information to calculate this q.p now let's go ahead and plug these values so we are going to have q dot fin is equal to eta fin that is 0 0.813 and heat transfer coefficient so we have that one right here 154 so this time 154 times area of the fin that is 0 0.0105 times the base temperature that is 350 minus ambient temperature that is 25 right and if you plug all this value in calculator and calculate this value you should get 427.252 watts right so we have calculated efficiency heat transfer rate now we have to calculate effectiveness right so now let's get rid of these things right here So to find the effectiveness, we are going to use this equation. Effectiveness is equal to q dot fin, right? So this is with fin and without fin. So q dot without fin. Q dot with fin we already calculated. That's this value. But q dot without fin we have to find that one out. So q dot fin over q dot without fin. Now to find the Q dot without fin, uh, that's gonna be this value H infinity. So let's write this one together. So Q dot fin over without fin is can be calculated by H infinity base area times temperature base and ambient temperature. So here we have to cal calculate the base area. Base area is simply with time the thickness. So with this 100 millimeter, that's going to be 0 0.1 meter times thickness is 5 millimeter. So that's going to be 0 0.005 meter, right? And if you calculate this one, you should get 0 0.0005 meter square. So that's going to be the area. Now let's plug. So we have everything else, right? So we can plug the values. So we have Q fin that is one um, <coughs> that is not one so that is 427 427.252 over h infinity that is heat transfer coefficient we have that one right here 154 and we found out the base area that is 0 0.0005 times base temperature that is 350 minus ambient temperature that is 25 and if you calculate this value that should give you 17.073 so this is our effectiveness so we found out efficiency that is this value and then heat transfer rate that is this one and then third we found out effectiveness that is this value and that's how we do this kind of problems.
I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.